Yo, Chad. Y'all already know, and I'll back for another video, man. I hope y'all having a great day, a great night, and any time that you're watching this currently, I just hope you're having a great time at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Scale your day 1 through 10. Scale your uh your night 1 through 10. Let Knox you know I really appreciate it. My night's going at least like a good 7 and a half. The only thing is not, the only reason why it's not a 10 is because I haven't hit my wood yet. I did have a hit that shit yet, but listen, before I even get started with that, let me go ahead and set my intro so we get started with this video. <gasps> What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy T2E Nazi, but shh, don't tell nobody. Look, check this out. As you can see by the title thumbnail, yes, we are back on Police Files. But the video we are reacting to from Police Files today is talking about when cops mess with the wrong criminals. Thumbnail's crazy. Y'all already know. But listen, I'm gonna need y'all go ahead and like and subscribe and turn my post notifications. If you're not in action for me yet, all you gotta do is put it down in the comment section. Hashtag K N O X Y Y F A M. I'm gonna like it, let you know that you're in the for me. It's that simple. And make sure to go follow me on my Instagram as well. We'll be linked down in the description so it'll be easy for you guys to follow me. So you don't have to follow nobody else and you think that's me. But the whole time it's not Noxy. I ain't gonna lie, I am gonna speed this up a little bit because I'm kinda tired. I just got done making a video for you guys. I told y'all I was gonna make another video. The video that you just recently watched before you watch this video. If you haven't watched that video yet, make sure that you click off this video, go watch that video first, and then come back and watch this video, and then you'll understand what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm trying to speed this shit up because like it is 12 o'clock at night and um I'm trying to get some videos in, you know what I'm saying? Well, this is the last video I am getting in for tonight. I'm tired, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, but y'all still gonna get the same reaction, y'all still gonna get the same. You know what I'm saying? Energy that I have in all my other videos. All I gotta do is spark up the wood. Y'all already know what time it is when niggas spark up the wood. Niggas a whole different breed. Niggas a whole different person. They got that energy like it's an energy drink. No cap. Speaking of which, we're about to go ahead and spark the wood. But listen, before we spark up, I'm gonna need y'all go ahead and bow y'all heads. Follow along. I really appreciate if you guys do so. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this prayer. Thank you, God, for this wood. Bless it. And prayer fires. In Jesus' name, we smoke. Let me go ahead and grab my lighter. My lighter's in my pocket, hopefully. Yes, yes it is, chat. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I gotta hit that one more time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Y'all already know what time it is. Listen. I'm going, I don't I'm not i I'm not fucking with this, bro. I just hate with my hair in my face, bro, sometimes. That should be mad annoying, bro. I ain't gonna say it cap to y'all, bro. Plus, my allergies is fucking up, too. My motherfucking throat hurt. I don't know what's going on, bro. Nigga, throat been hurting, like, for a mad long, like, a couple days in a row. Like, this, this, and I'm taking medicine? This shit don't sound right. Let's go ahead and get started with this video, chat. Buckle up. Isn't it just a hoot when you come across those rare encounters with cops who are so desperate for attention that yeah. they create their own little power trip? Yeah. And today we're gonna take a look at these delightful interactions between innocent people and cops who treated them like they were hardened criminals. Mm. Get ready for a real treat. Okay. Oh boy, buckle up, folks. <laughs> In this first video, we have a female cop who couldn't handle a simple situation, so she decided to call her supervisor. Okay. And what was the emergency, you might ask? Well, the man she approached was simply enjoying a sandwich next to his car. Can okay. you believe it? Totally suspicious behavior, it seems. So the supervisor arrives, and instead of just moving along, he insists on asking for the man's ID. You know, just to make sure his chicken sandwich wasn't stolen or something. <laughs> Despite the man explaining himself and even the female officer confirming the ownership of the car, this supervisor still wanted that ID. Because wow. trust your own eyes when you can demand unnecessary identification. That's crazy. So is that you are associated with this car. Do you have insurance for the car on your phone that you could just show me the VIN matches and then I'm out of here? I don't even need a name. I prefer not to really even speak with you, bro, because right. I haven't spoke. I haven't even, I haven't broken. He's black. Oh! Finally, we have a black person that knows they shit. That knows they Fourth Amendment. That knows every amendment. They constitutional rights. Everything in a fucking book. He's about to go crazy. The only way I know he was black, listen to his voice. That's one. Second, he said, bro. I'm not going to say and say the other race don't say bro, but come on, bro. It's a, you see how I just said it? Like, it's just a habit for black people. So it's like him saying it after months. And the way he said it, you can just tell. But that's not what I was ready to say. What I was really ready to say was, why do he need to give up his information on the vehicle if he's not in a car? He's eating a sandwich near the car and the car probably off. Even though the car is on, he's not in the vehicle. So why is you why is you asking him for a license and registration? 
That might not be his car. He could lie and say it's not his car, but the whole time it is his car. He don't have to re give you no information, bro. You wasting your time. You came here because of what she said. Oh, uh, it's a guy that's sitting there by his car uh, in the sandwich. I just think something suspicious. Can you come check it out for me? And you came and you asked for his ID. What's the suspicious? Tell me what's going on. Ooh, this is that. If it's not it's something that I want to. If it's nothing that, okay, it makes sense. I need my ID because I know I ain't doing shit. But if it don't make sense, if, if I'm really not doing shit like bro is, I'm not giving you shit. Point blank, period. Any crimes? Well, right now. Or, I mean, I, I don't even want to deal with you. I, I have no good dealings with you when I've told the truth with some of your officers, I should say. So, me talking right. to you, bro, I really don't want to talk to no uh, Santa Barbara which police officers, for real. I'm being, I'm being real. Is you're extending this contact right now? Let me explain. Okay, we got a call. Well, we the way you look at it, yeah, I can show you my ID. I can go in my bag and get my personal belongings and how you look at my ID and then run. But I'm still being, I'm being harassed. You feel me by you? I feel that right. way. You know what right. I mean? Right. I haven't. I just went to the grocery store when they when they pulled up. I had uh, when I just went over to the grocery store and purchased. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I left my car, went over there to grab something to eat. Walk it back. She she comes back. This officer behind you yeah. asked me, am, "Am I such and such?" Well, at that point, I'm I'm on the alarm. I don't really want to talk to anybody because like I haven't done anything right. wrong. Like I told this right. officer, I am the owner of this car. You can run the car. It's, obviously, they already know who the, whose they car it is. But here's the thing. You feel me? I they know, know the name. I know the car belongs to a name, but I don't know if that is your name. You don't know that's my name. I don't know who you are. Have you oh, ever talked okay. to me? All right, right. You don't know my name. Don't it pop up the picture of somebody when you run a license plate or like, you feel me? Nah, something not right, chat. Because I know for a fact, when you go in that computer, you should, bro, it be police officers literally be behind you in a whole red light one night. They just check your license plate. If you got something going on, if you that person that's in that car, who car is this, man? Ooh, ooh, okay, we had to make sure if this is really the person's car because ooh, ooh, because on this uh, computer that I put in, it shows that it's license suspended or such and such and such and such. And it shows up the picture. It's just not going to show up the name and the, the birthday and the fucking height and the weight, all that extra shit. It's going to show up the picture as well. What do you mean we don't know if it's you? We're trying to figure out if it's you. Bro, you know it's him, bro. Like, he want to tell you to run this license plate in. Run, woo, woo, woo. He said his license plate. It's his. Like, it, bro, it's him. Bro, you trying to make your job even worse. You trying to make your job harder, bro. Like, come on, bro. It's common sense. Like, you, you can put two two together, bro. But if you got a brain, you can put two two together. You got to let you ain't get one. All right, right. You don't know my name before I introduce myself. You don't know. Okay. And I never talked Ooh. to you. Have you talked to me? So, if you and I are strangers, how in the world? Okay. I have, I have no idea who you are, all right? And, again, devil's advocate, all right? If this wasn't your car. Devil's advocate or the devil. Then the supervisor realizes just how ridiculous he sounds and decides to come up with a whole new excuse for demanding that ID. Right. Now he claims they received a call about a stolen car. Classic of them, right? Who needs to verify information when you can just blindly trust any calls that come in? Right. It's not like anyone can make a fake call or anything. Clearly, catching an innocent man enjoying his sandwich is way more important than actually doing their job. job oh, the nerve of this supervisor. If this wasn't your car and you came out of one of these houses right now, and I was talking to a stranger who wasn't associated with the car, wouldn't you want the police to talk to that person? No. So again, it's... I could go well, either way. It, it depends on if I know if I know if they if I know if the car belongs to that person right. or it does not. It depends. That could go either way. Right. If the person knew or didn't know, they, they might know that the car belongs to the person or it does not. It depends. That could go either way. If the person knew or didn't know, they, they might know that the car belongs back. to the person, so the police will actually fuck with the person. You right. know what I mean? I don't at this point. I don't know what you're saying. All they've asked is what you just seen it from is. one. You're right, right, right. And I, I let them know that I was the owner of this vehicle. Good. Again, th there's a difference between being a legal owner, like I just bought it, but I haven't put up my name yet, or being a registered owner. Oh, okay. okay. Being politically, politically correct. Owner. Right, right, right. No, so the, uh, the vehicle owner, has not been not sold. It's, I've been the owner for like two. Uh, he has the audacity to ask the man if introducing himself is too much of a hassle. Mm -hmm. Well, excuse me, Mr. Cop. 
but the man doesn't have to comply with your ridiculous demands. Right. He doesn't have to entertain your questions and make your life easier. Right. How dare you expect him to partially waive his constitutional rights for you? <laughs> it's quite obvious that this man isn't a car thief. He even goes on to explain that he's owned the car for over two years and it's registered in his name. But of course, the supervisor treats him like the scum of the earth. The su and, well, and, 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 let's just say if they did like put the license plate inside the computer one night when they search it up and shit and don't pop up the picture. You could copy that name and actually search up who that person is or you could tell someone, hey, can you uh, search up a picture and see what that person looks like? Ooh, this is such a such, or can you see me a picture? Come on, bro. Come on, your job ain't that hard. So as that being said, my nigga, you have every, you have everything and every uh, accessories to be able to look this man up, but you still trying to ask him what's his name or you need his ID. Like for what, bro? If I already told you this is my name on the car, just search up the name, or you already searched up the name, but you feel like that's not me. That's on you. Like, what the fuck? Do your job. You're not doing your job then. Like, you feel me? Like, that shit just sound dumb as hell. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. That's a lot towards this shit, too. I ain't gonna cap. The situation escalates even further when the supervisor decides to detain the man Ooh. and threaten him with arrest for obstructing the police. Hilarious, isn't it? Too bad this cop doesn't know that obstructing the police is a secondary offense and no one can actually be arrested for it. I, it's a pretty simple. It is, it is, uh, but it's a. It's a you on the ad? The fact that you about to detain him, I want to see how this shit goes, chat. No question. I, I don't have to answer. Right. I don't have to say shit. You okay, feel well, me? At this point, me, me talking to y'all has. Contact. It is because I don't, I don't, I don't really want to. Delaying us beyond what's reasonable. Because I mean, and being cooperative with you. Santa Barbara police officers, uh, over me right I am now. because I really right. don't even want to talk to so what you. What happens is if you continue to delay us. You could be subject to arrest, which is for 100% what? what I'm trying to avoid. 148 Penal Code is delaying or obstructing the police. How am I obstructing? We are conducting you an investigation oh, into somebody that called back. saying that you were suspicious around this vehicle. Mm -hmm. Period. The end. Suspicious? We are, asking, are you associated with this vehicle and you're being evasive and you're just not giving us the answer? And so now you've delayed. They've probably been here at least 20 minutes, I'm going to guess. So go do your job. What are you talking about? Bro, there's no way. You're the officer. You're your own human being. You have your own... You feel me? You make your own decisions. You are wasting your time on purpose so you can arrest this man. So you can have... Oh, since this man got away, or well, I feel like he got away since, since it's not really you. I'm going to arrest somebody. Say, I'm going to arrest you then. That's crazy. Like, your mind is really crazy. Your ego is crazy as fuck. Like, what do you get out of this? And then I hope you get suspended or fired. Because the fact that you still going on with the conversation and he's telling you the name of the car is his name. And you're not running that name just to see if that's actually his name or him. He, he actually had to say, oh, yeah, that's me for you to believe it. And there's evidence right in front of your face when you put it in the computer. Boy, I ain't gonna lie. And at some point, I'm losing my voice. Even here. when your name comes back matching, if it does. You would still be subject to arrest at that point. I'm trying to avoid all that. I'm trying to work with you. And you are okay. putting up every possible roadblock. I'm going to ask really. you again. I mean. What is the name of the owner of this car? Who is it registered to? That would be me. I am the registered and owner of this car. You feel me? No. What name is it under? Like I'm saying, I feel like I'm being harassed. So you said if I call, so if I call the cops and be like, "Hey, there's some people over there that kind of uh, suspicious are around this agency," we would respond. And you, you would should call and say there's loud birds in this tree, and we would show up. And you would force somebody to show their ID. 100%. To show ownership of a car. I would force somebody to show me their ID if they are the subject of a call for service and they're being detained. You, sir. So I am detained. being detained. 100%. That's all I wanted you to let it be known that I am being detained. 100%. You have not been free to leave as soon as the officer started speaking with you. Wow. The supervisor persists in demanding the man's name, thinking he can intimidate him into submission. Little does he know that this man isn't backing down. He decided to stand his ground and protect his rights, even if it meant going to jail. Right. Good for him. What a gem of a supervisor we have here. Mm -hmm. You say it is you, so what is your name? Well, 
Before I don't see okay. Charles Venable, V E N A B L E. My body number is nine zero one eight. Nine zero one eight. I'm gonna go. You mind if I get a pen so I can write this? I will write it down for you. You will write it down. I will for write it down for you. I will okay. Give you a he tries to manipulate the man by saying that if he introduces himself, he'll introduce himself as well. Right. Well, bravo, Mr. Cop. You really know how to make yourself look even worse on camera. Thanks. Maybe someone needs to let this supervisor know that he's required to identify himself whenever asked while in uniform. Right. It's not a matter of agreement or a favor. It's literally his duty. Do, yeah. but I guess police officers are exempt from that rule, right? Unlike us mere citizens who don't have to identify ourselves unless we've committed a crime. Ah, the inequality. So now I'm since I'm being detained, I'm getting I'm getting I'm asking for, I'm asking for permission. Well, I can see it, police for, Do I have permission since you're detaining me to go inside my bag to get ID since you're telling me you're actually about to arrest me? On me to just show it to you without going inside my bag. Right. So dangerous in your bag? See, exactly. So that's why I'm that's, that's why I'm asking. No, no. Go ahead. Okay. You know what I mean? I got a little situation going Would you on. Like me to hold that no, me? I don't. I don't need. No, I'm good on all that. It's another you know cop. I mean? How many cops is it? So he's the only one that's been talking the whole time. They just know it's ridiculous. Right. If you're able uh, to do that, like, we can move on with our lives. I'm, hey, bro, I'm trying to move on with my lives too, oh, really? bro. You've been just I mean, I'm being harassed. <laughs> like, you feel Again, me? this could have been done the moment you walked up and said, "Hey, my why, name is X Y Z," and they would have said, "Cool, that's who's registered the owner," and they'd be out of here. But yet, so he got to be the register of the car to be for him not to go to jail. Oh, I never heard of that. You could drive other people's car unless you have the uh, license and registration, and you. You feel me? You valid to drive. I mean, you, even though you had a permit, you won't go to jail. They might just tell somebody to come pick up the car, or such and such. But if you really don't have a license, yes, you will go to jail. But here's the thing. He had all them things. And he's about to probably prove your ass wrong. You're going to look at it like, damn, he was telling me the truth the whole time. Why, why I just didn't believe him? Why didn't I just set it up on the computer, bro? It's so much on this, bro. Like, it's pissing me off. I gotta keep pausing it on your dumb ass, bro. It's kind of crazy. You have decided why come it can, if you want to continue this. Why come it can be like, oh, no, no, no. Hey, I am the owner of this vehicle. This is my car. I just walked over there to get something to eat and I walked back to my car. Oh, this is your car? Oh, okay, cool. Not, a. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Did you have some proof? Believe it or not, people lie to the police. And since I've never oh, been here, like people lie people to the police. Believe it or not, that's, yeah. a, that's a motherfucking epiphany right there. People lie to I the know. police. We're, we're dropping knowledge today, right? Yeah, even Do even. You want to continue going back and forth? Oh, here's my here's my ID. Like I mean, my ID, my ID, my my ID. But yeah, people do lie to the police. It's just like, hey, calling the police. Hey, this guy is uh, suspicious around the car. Yeah. So <laughs> that was a nice, hey, that was tough that you slide that in like that. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't expect you to say that. So I know he was like, damn. What's your brother? Let's hear it. So here's the thing. You feel me? The registered owner of this is you. I can see that that is your name. And we're done. Okay? I'm going to give you my name because I told you I would. Okay? Do you have any questions? Oh, here's a real funny one. This cop... Ah, oh, nah. Oh, nah. He just proved your dumb ass wrong in... That's all you had to do. Here, so here, here's your ID. My name is Uwu, man. <sighs> if he would have went to jail, that would have been so crazy. And then you say he's detained. Let's just see what the part is talking about. He had way too much time on his hands, so he decided to stop a cyclist and demand a bicycle license. Because, you know, that's totally a thing. While the rest of us mortals are left scratching our heads, this cyclist couldn't believe his luck. Not only was he stopped for one of the most absurd reasons ever, but he was also held up longer than necessary. This poor guy, his precious time being wasted because some bored cop wanted to play pretend. Right. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, backup arrives. Multiple police cars show up as if they're dealing with a criminal mastermind, <laughs> when all they have is a confused cyclist who's just trying to figure out why all this nonsense is happening in the first place. Thanks. Are you going to write a ticket? So this, is, this becomes in the lawful detainment. No, sir. Yes, no, if you, if, if you, thing. If you detain thing. me longer than needed, and you are detaining me longer than yeah. needed. And then here's the thing, though. Get on with okay. It. What I'm trying to do is trying to talk to you I first. Don't care. Red ticket. I'm gonna wait to talk sure. to the mayor. Okay, no problem. Hurry up and write the f ticket. Sure. And, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fucking come to your neighborhood talking about how much of a piece of you are. Wow. You got it. Now write the f 
to you get got on. It, sir. You Look got at this. It. All this backup over a fucking cyclist. Where he said I need a fucking license for this. You I didn't dumb fucking sense. person. Write the fuck. Hey, hurry license. up and write the ticket. Well, stop the fucking. But you. I mean, like we on app. License and ID is basically like the same shit. He got his name and birthday all over that shit. Write the ticket. Well, stop the fucking. And stop interrupting. Shut <laughs> you can walk over there. You are the <laughs> fuck. You got that tattoo got showing. Is your tattoo supposed to be showing? Isn't that against? Oh no. You know what? That is against. Uh, that's against policy. You that's learn. facts. Your tattoo ain't supposed to be showing if you got that uniform on, bro. And I learned that like a couple years ago. But I, I think I, I think everybody should know that shit. Something about me, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Ever talk? You sit there and you put you touch me with your fucking filthy greasy ass but of course this cop's ego won't allow him to just walk away from the situation right. no 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 he has to write the man a ticket instead and the cyclist doesn't hold back throwing a few choice words at the cop you can see the annoyance on the cop's face probably expecting the man to bow down and worship him right sorry officer but citizens who actually know their rights don't work like that mm -hmm. sure. the benefits you have appreciate and you it. couldn't even make it to a dentist appreciate it it looks like he's been like eating yeah. bread and just caked up on the bottom of his teeth. 13. This guy is tired of teeth. And what's so crazy, bro? He can really talk his shit the whole time. It's just words. It's freedom of speech. You can say anything to the cop, bro. The only thing you can't do is threaten him. That's when it goes left. That's all they want you to. That's all they want to hear. Like, it might slip out too when you're so mad. But you just got to watch what you say. But you can say anything. To I swear, I swear to God, you can say anything. You got these niggas, bitches, all that shit, pigs, whatever you want to call them. But you just can't threaten them. Tartar tooth. Your family know about that? Your family know your fing tartar problem? Your neighbors know about it? I mean, people know about it. Trust <laughs> me, the people you work with, they know about this. It's, it's You can't miss that shit. It's like a ledge of plaque on the bottom. Yeah, he's fat. He's outdone himself this time. He slaps the man with a ticket for riding a scooter, even though it's obvious the man is on an electric bike. These cops aren't interested in serving and protecting. They just want to use the law as their own personal weapon. Not right. only that, but the officer lies about the man's speed, claiming he was going over the limit when his bike can only manage a measly 14 miles per hour. But and I know that because, nigga, I drive the motherfuckers. Uh, nah, I ain't gonna lie, it ain't 14 miles. It's on the ones down here, they, they like, you know, like, 25 to 30. It's probably more. It's probably more. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't been on them bitches since like a year. But this year, oh my God, it's way too thunder, boy. It's gonna, I'm, I'm gonna take y'all. Y'all gonna see a vlog in a meet. Uh, lock this in, bro. Then lock this date in. I'm gonna uh, vlog for you guys. I'm gonna have a great time. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. It's gonna be on the 20th of this month, April. So I'm gonna need y'all gonna have lock that shit in April 20th, 420. It's gonna be a ooh, 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 ooh. It's gonna be a banger. I can just feel it. But listen, that's not even right. You feel me? Like, I ain't ready to take too much, but just make sure I like that day there. I really appreciate if y'all do so, so y'all can watch the video and stay tuned. Our cool, calm, and collected man. But yeah, I know. Wait, wait, I wasn't even done. I don't, I don't know why I played this shit. Uh, yeah, like, bro, did he just say that the officer slapped him with the ticket? I hope he's saying just slapping means like he's using that, like, here you go, like he's slapping more. I don't know, but some people use that shit as like handing it is slapping and type shit. I don't know why some people say it. But if this officer actually slapped this man with the ticket in his hand, cause make sure you have that shit on camera, cause I ain't gonna lie, he gonna only have his footage and he might not even show it to the judge. Easily 14 miles per hour. But our cool, calm, and collected man isn't phased by this nonsense. He calmly oh, informs the officer that he'll be taking him I'll to court. That. And the cop probably hopes he's bluffing because he conveniently forgets to give his name. Mm. But guess what, officer? The man has it all on camera. From your face to your badge number. Finding out your name and department is the least of your worries. Right. It looks like you scribbled on it, but sure, that's, that's, Look that's at that. The problem. rest of that is scribbled. Yeah, the rest of this code is illegible. Get a fucking dentist. And get your fucking So see how punitive these cops are? See how punitive De La Cruz is? This guy using the legal system as a weapon against their critics as he's writing false fucking tickets. 
Let's get a good look at that facial recognition. I need that. We're going to need you in a database. If he's going to lie like that, he deserves to be on a Brady list. You're going to end up on a Brady list for lying. You lied on the wrong person. <laughs> this guy right here lied on a lied on a ticket. Literally lied. Again, section 22411 says no person shall operate a motor motorized scooter in the speed excess of 15 miles per hour, but that's impossible. Why? Because a scooter only goes 14. The cop realizes too late what a mess he's made for himself, so he decides to stay away from the man and his camera. Right. Some police officers really know how to avoid doing their actual work. I guess they only show up to gather in the shade and harass innocent people to boost their authority. Literally do nothing. This is what De La Cruz does fucking day long. Does nothing. Does nothing. He's a while like he, he Lazy so fucking shit. cops. No, get out. Why don't you guys get them back to work? Get back to work. You two, get back to work. Get back to work. And again, this is lying De La Cruz. So let's throw it up on TikTok. Let's throw it up on YouTube. Let's throw it up on all these things. And let's show how this guy lied about CV 22411. Right? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how this guy straight up. And here we have another That's cop crazy. who thinks he's above the law just because he wears a fancy blue uniform. Okay. This genius decides it's perfectly fine to park his car right at the entrance of a hospital, blocking everyone's way. And not only that, he decides to stop people and ask them pointless questions about their destination, even when it's obvious they're heading to the hospital for a reason. Right. When he stops a pregnant woman on her way to a doctor's appointment, she doesn't hesitate to put him right in his place. I bet he had a good long think about career choices after that encounter. Right. Do I need to show you the blood? No, you don't need that. Do I need to show you my stomach no. that I'm pregnant? So I'm then, well, why am I still being with Why don't you go back in your car and let me go because about Because I'm my trying day? to explain to you. And I asked you, if you're having an emergency, do you need me to call the paramedics for you? If I get you? two minutes more and I'm in the inside the hospital, why would you call the ambulance when the hospital's I'm right there? It's a second away. It's, just, it's a simple question. No, you're that's just, all. you're holding me on purpose because now you want to make me suffer because I, I hunch. I'm, that's not why. That's exactly no, why. No, all you, you want to do is talk over me. Okay, whatever. But I'm not going to sit here and argue with you any longer. Do you have any questions for me? Do you have any questions You can't be me? doing this. I can't. In future I reference, can't be don't be like that. Don't use your authority a, a, and push people around and like unfortunately, that. Unfortunately, you just don't understand what I have to do every day. No, okay. I understand what you do and I respect what you do. I, I but you could have pulled. When you heard honking and you seen the line was getting long, all you had to do was go two feet forward but just I, to let people pass I, by. I'm but no, you no. decided to stop everybody and you don't know what people got going on. You're right. right in front of a hospital blocking the entrance. Right. This isn't a hospital. That is the hospital. Oh, this is a real doozy. This guy goes to the police station to file a complaint against one of the officers, mm -hmm. and boy, does he get more than he bargained for. First, a cop tries to trick him into signing some parking warnings, hoping to get his name. Because why bother with real police work when you can just fish for personal information, right? right. And then the major, oh, the major, insists that the man has to show his ID just to file a complaint. Did these cops all miss the memo about anonymous complaints? When the cop realizes how ridiculous he sounds, he switches gears and claims the guy needs to ID himself because he's on police property. Wow. Right. Because the police station is so different from any other public building. Right. And just to add another layer of absurdity, a female officer shows up out of nowhere with handcuffs ready as if she's about to arrest the guy for, well, who knows what. That's what I was asking. The hell, I was just trying to find a... I try to get officer complaints. Ah, this is most definitely out of bounds. But uh, everybody yeah, is. I guess because I had a camera, they didn't want to talk to me. What's your name, badge I'm number? Jim Walker. You the chief? No, I'm the major. Major. Yes. What's your name, badge number? And I wanted to get hurt. Cause that's what that's started. That's what I used to. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it, man. I guess. Okay. Um, how would I get that? What you want? Officer complaint form. What's your name? I don't give my name. I try okay, not to. Fine. You understand that? But being you are across my guard lines, I'm going to require ID. You're going to request it? Yes, sir. From you. Okay. Where's the guard line again? You're standing on it. Yeah. Okay. You're standing on it. Okay. Under threat of arrest. You cross my guard line. Under threat of arrest? And I'm asking you for identification. Georgia law requires you to show me identification when you're in a secure area. Oh, oh okay. Well, you're teaching me something. Um, yeah, am I being detained? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you don't have a good day. you're going to show me some ID, or you might be protected. Well, if wow. I'm detained or not detained. Well, I'll decide that. I'm requesting you to show me some ID. Under threat of a... Oh, and the hits just keep on coming. They tease the guy for getting a bit anxious when he sees a female officer with handcuffs. They reassure him that there's no need to worry. 
Well, aren't they just so considerate? Right. But here's the thing these cops conveniently forget about. The six foot minimum distance rule. Mm. Maybe they should realize that being surrounded by armed cops makes citizens a little no, uneasy you... and intimidating. Mm. I thought their job was supposed to be keeping citizens safe, but I guess they conveniently forget that when it suits them. Yeah. Are you parking on the roadway because you park on when they ain't through the on the curtilage. Okay. okay? Gotcha. You'll have a coordinate of August the twenty seventh. 9 a.m. in the probate court of McDuffie County. If you wish to come to court, if you do not wish to come to court, it is a traffic citation. So you can pay this beforehand and not have to show up in court and have these your courts, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, we may show it and get their names. Whether you choose to do that or not. Well, I need you to do that. I need you to sign the citation right here. Signing it is not admitting guilt. It has nothing to do with admitting guilt or not. What you're doing by signing the citation is acknowledging that you did get a citation and that you know you need to either uh, pay the citation yes, or come to court to contest. I understand. I understand. Hold that, Tim. Drop out. All right. Thank y'all. Have a great day. What the heck are we? Well, what I need to tell you is, sir, is these are guard lines near this jail. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. The fact that these niggas is like. <sighs> no, y'all right, bro. That's really more of the story that I gotta say. I ain't gotta say nothing else for real, for real. Cause y'all already know. Like, when y'all see shit like this, just, just realize it, take notes, and understand. Cause it might be that day that you be in the same predicament they was in. And it's crazy, cause it could happen. And it could happen the next day. It can happen next week or next month or next year. A couple years. Who knows? But anything can happen. So just make sure that you're on your P's and Q's. I ain't gonna lie to you. But listen, like I said before, y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. I ain't gonna lie. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? Once again, police files. I was coming with a banger anyways. But check this out. I'm gonna need y'all go ahead and like and subscribe and tell my post notifications. If you're not a nice fan me yet, all you gotta do is put it in the comment section. Hashtag K-N-O-X, Y-Y-F-A-M. I'm gonna like it let you know that you're a nice fan me. It's that simple. And make sure to go follow me on my Instagram as well. We'll be linked down in the description so it'll be easy for you guys to follow with so you don't have to follow nobody else and you think that is me. But the whole time, it's not Noxie. But I love y'all. Yeah, my heart, yeah, my soul. I buy will never fold. It's your boy T2E Noxie, but shh. Don't tell nobody.